Happy Friday, Floss Tube. Hello, crafty friends. How's everybody doing today? My name is Caroline. Welcome back to what is going to be a very quick little um, video where I I have some news to share with with you. And I've been I've been I this has been really hard to keep to myself. So I am uh, I've been very excited to share this with you. So. About a month ago, um, I was recording a floss tube video, and as I often do, I tend to speak, you know, in Caroline speak, and I'll go in a bit of a circle, and I'll tell a bit of a story, or something will occur to me, and I'll I'll just talk about it. And while I was talking, I mentioned my floor frame, and that I use for stitching. And um, while I was, well, when I mentioned it, I thought to myself, oh, you haven't really talked about that in a while. Um, you should, you know, give a little bit more information on it. So I explained all about the stand that I use and how Hearthside Craftworks was a small Canadian business and they didn't know who I was. And, um, you know, I, I just love their product. I received a Mark II floor frame for a Christmas present about 15 years ago. I have a video on this channel way back i believe it's episode 12. i will link to it in the drop down box below if you'd like to go and have a look um so i've been i've i love my stand and i also own uh several k's creations lap frames but i've mentioned several times throughout the years how i really wanted a hearthside craftworks lap frame but i couldn't really justify it because I have multiple K's Creations lap frames, but I still, I really, I thought maybe, you know, the next birthday or the next Christmas, I would ask for Hearthside. And so I was talking about Hearthside Craftworks on my floss tube and several of you went to their website and discovered that they had retired and the business, they were selling off the last little bit of their inventory and, and they were retiring. Uh, John and Helen. John and Helen were the owners of Hearthside Craftworks. John uh, started the business in making, creating a stand for his wife Helen, who is a stitcher, and who is a stitcher. I, I, fumbling my words a bit. Uh, and so John created this this um, flip mechanism that's quite creative. It works beautifully, and. He makes an excellent, excellent stand. High quality, great, great stuff. And they'd retired. But in a little print on their website, it said that they were um, willing to entertain serious offers if there was somebody out there who was interested in purchasing their business. And so, without further ado, I am so happy to let you know that tentatively, because the legal paperwork has not been signed on the dotted line, so it's not legally official official. However, John and Helen and my John and I are fully committed to um, making this work. My John and I will be taking on and continuing the Hearthside Craftworks floor frame and lap frame business. I know. I, I know. So my John has a little bit of experience with power tools. My John. So it's, it's going to be a little confusing because of course um, the, the owner of Hearthside Craftworks and John is a John and I have my John. So I will probably for the next little while, if I'm speaking about both of them, I will refer to him as my John. He has some experience with building. He built our cottage and so I'll I've got some photos here to share with you this was about 13 years ago when my husband John um, he designed our cottage it's a small little cabin um, from the clearing of the land to designing the plans to building the entire thing he had some help we had some friends come up and help do various parts of it um, we did hire a plumber to come on and, and stay on the island for about three days um, and, and do all of the plumbing work. My dad did all of the gas work um, because we have uh, propane. We use propane tanks there. But my husband, John, built, he built the cottage himself. So he has, he has some experience with power tools. He does not have any experience with carpentry, um, woodworking, with fine woodworking. So. At the end of August, 
my John is going to be traveling to Calgary, Alberta, and he is going to be learning from John of Hearthside Craftworks, the business, how to make and build the stands. And so my John, starting in the fall, in September, is going to take on the job of building Hearthside Craftworks frames. Floor frames, floor frames and lap frames and all of the accessories. And so I know I just had an email this morning um, from a viewer and customer who as well um, bought a Mark II floor frame on my recommendation and then went to buy some accessories and discovered that they had retired and there was there was nothing she could do. So we are going to be able to provide accessories for existing Mark II floor frames and lap frames because we are going to continue the exact same structure that John of Hearthside has created. We are also keeping the Hearthside Craftworks name. Um, so it's going to be Hearthside Craftworks at Evertote. There will be a section on the website, our website. We are going to be downsizing their product list a little bit. So there is a, there's an original floor frame and a table stand. Um, we will not be making those two things. So we will be making the Mark II floor frame, the lap frame, and all of the accessories. And um, yeah, so it is, we're still at the beginning of our new sort of family journey here. But to say that I love the fact that it is a small Canadian family owned business and we are a small Canadian family owned business and we're going to carry on the hard work and tradition and experience of John and Helen and carry it into the future. And so, yeah, it's, I don't think it's quite sunk in yet. We're all extremely excited. I can't wait to meet John and Helen and just move forward into the future. So five years ago, I started this channel. I know I've mentioned recently that I just had my five year floss tube anniversary on July the 2nd. And I, I sort of mentioned, you know, I can't wait to see what the next five years will bring. I feel like I'm a, kind of at the beginning of the, the next step of the next five years. And that is entirely due to you. It's entirely due to the friendships that I've made through this channel, through Off The Grid Needle Arts, and the connections I've made in this community. And it's just been, it's been life-changing for our family. So thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. And I can't wait to share more with you. I've already made my John promise that he will take some video and some photos of his progress as he learns from John as he's setting up his woodworking shop. Um, his job this weekend is to clear out our garage because our garage is going to be turned into his shop. So that's this weekend's task. So good luck to him. We are going to be taking a little bit of a holiday at the end, the last week of July. And so I won't be recording videos next week because I'm going to make sure that my work here at Evertote is all tidied up. All the orders that are in the system need to go out the door before I can leave on a little bit of a holiday. Luna is staying at home, so I'm a little bit, a little bit, you know, I'm gonna miss her. And so I'm, I'm feeling a little, not, not, not worried or anything it's just she's sort of tied to the hip with me and um, so there's lots of loose ends to tie up next week and what else uh, Jacob Palooza registration uh, still set for August the 5th we set a time it's gonna be at 10 a.m. August 5th for Jacob Palooza and that's a retreat next year Jacob of modern folk embroidery is coming to London Ontario Canada and there's a Facebook group you can join called Jacob Palooza if you're interested in that. And I will have full pricing available. Full pricing details will be available next Monday or Tuesday on the Facebook group. And um, I will probably also post a video on my other YouTube channel, which is called Evertote Notes from the Workshop. So with that being said, moving forward, after this video, Anything else regarding Hearthside Craftworks is going to be happening on the other channel, the workshop channel. But I couldn't start this venture, I couldn't start the next five years, the chapter of the next five years, without letting you know. I also know that I have referred that stand 
to many, many people over the last five years. And so I thought maybe it would be a good idea to put this video on this channel. So thank you. That's it for me today. That's, all, that's what I wanted to share. Thanks for being here with me. I hope that you're well. I hope that you're safe. I hope you have a great couple of weeks. I'll be back at, uh, I'll probably take a couple of weeks off of recording videos. So I'll see you back here at the beginning of August. So, or over on the other channel. I've got a few more videos left to do over on that other channel. Take care, everybody. Have a great weekend. Happy stitching. I knew I was gonna forget something. And of course I've lowered the camera now, so. I completely forgot to let you know that I have already been hearing from um, uh, previous customers, clients who were interested in purchasing something and then discovered that Hearthside was closed, that Hearthside Craftworks was closed. And so Hannah has set up a Google Doc um, for you to fill out if you are interested in receiving more information via email, um, if you, you know, don't care to catch the videos or you just want more information. We've also started a waiting list. Um, John expects to start being able to send out stuff at the latest by the end of October. Um, that gives him enough time to learn the process, set up the workshop, um, you know, and just really make sure that everything is working exactly as it should. So that's kind of our goal is to be ready for the end of October. We might be ready a little sooner than that, but that's kind of, that's, that's what we're aiming for. So if there, if you know there is something already that you wish to purchase accessory wise or frame wise, you can email info at evertote.ca. That's I N F O at evertote.ca. And Hannah will put you on a wait list. You'll be first in line for any of the products that, um, that John will be making, my John will be making. And then um, if you're not quite ready to even, and of course there's no obligation. This is just a, you know, this kind of a, a wait list of, you know, first come first serve, and then we'll fulfill those orders first. If you just want information um, email wise about what's going on with where we're at, there's a Google Doc you can fill out to be on that Hearthside Craftworks at Evertote specific email. So that'll be different from our regular Evertote email that we're, that we're sending out. We hope to have a pre-order system available on the website in the coming weeks. But again, those are the kinds of things that need to wait until after we have crossed all the T's and dotted all of the I's with all of the, um, the official paperwork that needs to happen. So until that point, we'll go with, send us an email if you'd like more information, or we'll put you on a wait list if you know you'd like to purchase one and we'll go from there. But again, like I, I said, and I'll say it again, no obligation. Uh, info at evertote.ca. Okay, that really is it now. Have a great weekend, everybody. Happy stitching.